A junior high school basketball team in the Washington town of Fernfield is on a roll thanks to their halftime show turned team MVP, Air Bud. Buddy, the golden retriever, was once known to be quite the practical joker, always goofing around and having a good time. He is now focusing his efforts on becoming a model teammate for Fernfield. This hoops shooting hound has completely turned the season around for the T-Wolves and has them heading to the regional playdowns this weekend. It looks like their next opponents could be in for a rough time. Hockey scores coming up next. In tonight's top story, we head back to Washington, where a canine competitor has whipped this small town into a complete frenzy. Buddy the Dog, or Air Bud as he is known on the hardwood, has propelled the Fernfield Timberwolves into the state championship this Saturday. His future, however, remains uncertain, as this man, Norm Snively, has come out of the woodwork claiming ownership of Buddy and threatening to pull him from the team. The case goes before Judge Cranfield later this afternoon. We'll have more on this story during tonight's telecast. Hello and welcome back. On the junior high sports circuit last week, pandemonium broke loose on the courts as Buddy, the Golden Retriever, crashed a basketball game between the Fernfield Timberwolves and the Spokane Warriors. Despite one of the refs getting a little banged up during the chaos, onlookers got a kick out of all the action and got a real doggy treat at the end of it all when Buddy scored two points. Proving it was no fluke, Buddy and owner Josh Ram have since become the T-Wolves' new halftime show. Crowds are now flocking to see the dog that can twinkle the twine. We'll bring you halftime highlights of their next game on Tuesday. A junior high school basketball team in the Washington town of Fernfield is on a roll thanks to their halftime show turned team MVP, Air Bud. Buddy, the golden retriever, was once known to be quite the practical joker, always goofing around and having a good time. He is now focusing his efforts on becoming a model teammate for Fernfield. This hoops shooting hound has completely turned the season around for the T-Wolves and has them heading to the regional playdowns this weekend. It looks like their next opponents could be in for a rough time. Hockey scores coming up next. Fernfield Junior High basketball star Air Bud made an unscheduled appearance this week at a pro basketball game in Seattle. Nobody could say for sure how he made it into the stadium without a ticket, but once he got on the court, he couldn't be stopped. Mayhem reigned supreme for several minutes as Buddy showed the pros how it's done. He was eventually corralled and returned to his owner, Josh Fram. Fram told us that Buddy's just really excited for the upcoming season and he'll take any chance he can get to shoot some hoops. Who can blame him for that? More basketball highlights to come at the top of the hour. Can't be late! Game time! Wait for me! Yay! Cowabunga! Welcome to Puppy Preschool! Yahoo! Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Four dog bones equals six doggy bones. Uh-oh. Excuse me, that's my stomach. Mine never stops. Uh, I think this calls for some pie. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Doggy treats. Sausage. I love cupcakes. Lots of so -so. Ballpark nuts. So -so. Doggy, Doggy treats. Cupcakes. Cookies. Cookies. From the sound of that, you are not eating good food for you. You need proper nutrition. What's nutrition? If you want to be big and strong like me, you have to eat healthy foods. Grrr! Hoo hoo hoo! Champ is strong! You! Yeah, you and you and you, even you, have to eat healthy foods. Say what? I'm going to show you some of mine. Get in there. Mm. Mm -mm. Can we have some? Oh, come on. This is a banana. 
I like to eat, I like to eat, eat apples and bananas. Good snack for the teacher. <laughs> Is it lunch yet? Mm. Yoo-hoo! Yeah. Lunch time! Yeah. Yum. Okay, remember puppies to eat healthy fruit every day. See you next time. Snack time! Yeah! Pizza! <laughs> Come get me some pie, pie, pie. <laughs> Gross. Whoever made the stink should say, excuse me. Wasn't me. That was not me. Guilty. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing that today's lesson is about manners. You puppies stink. What's manners? Well, let's say I burped. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> you should say, excuse me, right away. It's called good manners. A very big part of manners are the magic words. Like abacadabra? <laughs> First magic word is the word you use when you're asking for something. Will you please just tell us? Exactly, flip flop. Please. Can you please tell us the other magic word? Do you puppies at home know your magic words? What about field goal? Uh, do that? I know this one. The magic word is thank you. That's it! You pups are such quick learners, especially you pups at home. Thank, thank you, you for leaving us. us. You're welcome, puppies. Manners are good things to have. See you next time. We says, yeah! Yay! All right. Aloha. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, where's our teacher? She's late. And it is very important to never be late for school. Uh... I'm here, pups! Whoa! Wow! Kabunga! Day's lesson. Cleanliness equals organized. Too late, dudes. <laughs> I'm trying to illustrate what happens when you're messy. I'm so not getting my paws dirty. This is what making mess looks like. Well, making a mess is fun, but the most fun part is cleaning up. Go team! <laughs> Where I go, Miss Lena? Okay, you puppies at home, time to clean your rooms. We said, yeah, yay! All right, school's out. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be late! Game time! Wait for me! Yay! Cowabunga! Welcome to Puppy Preschool! Yahoo! <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna learn about the alphabet. Yay, I love to sing! <laughs> A is for alligator, angry as can be. B is for bumblebee, don't buzz into me. C is for cat, cuddly and cute. D is for dolphin, dunking in the blue. E is for elephant, playing in the mud. F is for fox, hiding with their cubs. G is for goldfish, guzzling with glee. H is for hair, jump around with me. I is for 
for iguana. Eating all the flies. Ew. J is for jaguar. Hunting with big eyes. K is for kangaroo. Jumps above the rest. Three. L is for lemur. Dancing with the best. M is for moose. Roaming wild and free. N is for newt. Squirming land and sea. <laughs> o is for octopus. Squirting ink galore. P is for platypus. Floating close to shore. Q is for quail. Listen to them squawk. R is for rattlesnake. Hiding in the rock. S is for scorpion. Sneaky and unique. Uh -oh. Z is for toucan. Look at my huge beak. <laughs> U is for urchin. Spiny, slow, and small. V is for vampire bat. Hanging by the wall. W is for walrus, tusks of pearly white. X is for x-ray fish, glowing oh so bright. Y is for yak, with long and shaggy hair. Z is for zebra, with stripes everywhere. ABCs are fun when you sing with furry friends. Rewind all the way so you can sing again. <laughs> Booyah, school is cool. Let's learn, let's learn, let's learn, let's School's learn. School's out. Let's yeah. learn, let's learn, let's learn. See you puppies next time. We said, yeah. Yay. All right. Aloha. So stop. <laughs> <laughs>